welcome to another episode of Quality Time with Clive. Today we're continuing our look at Crystal Synthesizer and we're going to take a look at pads today. Pads are basically soft, elongated sounds. Oftentimes they're layers of different oscillators on top of each other. They have a soft attack and a very uh, soft release and they are often used to create an ambience feature for your tracks or as well as sort of outlining the harmony that you would need for one of your songs. So uh, without spending too much time, let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, a standard track. So those background sounds are basically a pad idea. So let's go ahead and figure out how we can take Crystal Synthesizer and create our own pad for what we need here. So let's call it Crystal. As you can see in Crystal, I have just my regular sine wave default set. So uh, we're just using voice one. I'm gonna go ahead and take voice one. And our first work is gonna be done again with the amplitude envelope. So again, we want to have a soft attack and a soft release. I can just create that very quickly here. All right, and let's change it from sine to something a little bit more uh, smooth. So in the pad example that I played, you notice that it was polyphonic, so meaning that you can stack notes on top of each other and build chords. Right now, Crystal is set to be monophonic, so we just need to go ahead and press the poly button, and now we can go ahead and play chords. Turn down the main volume here of my track, and maybe even the volume a little bit in voice one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the scale feature because I want it to come in even a little bit later. And when I release my hand, I want something like that. Cool. In pad sounds, it's typical to layer oscillators on top of each other. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and take voice one, copy it, paste it to voice two. Let's take a look at voice two. Now in the oscillator type, in my previous tutorials, I've just been taking a look at synthesize, but today we're gonna to take a look at some of these sampled sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and select strings and add that to our, to our triangle sounds. That's nice, let's go ahead and copy voice two and paste it to voice three. And on voice three, I'm gonna use yet another sampled sound, not strings, but something that's gonna sustain as well. How about something like breath? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy up the octave. So let's try moving the breath sound down the octave. I think I like that better. And then when we play with the filters, we'll emphasize some of the higher frequencies. Sounding pretty good so far, but now we wanna get a little bit of emotion, a little bit of changing of ideas throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead to my string sound. I'm gonna turn on a filter. Uh, low pass is fine. Let's go ahead and listen to it. That's cool. We could um, turn on the filter envelope and then have this change over time. Let's go use flat four. Let's hear it change over time. have it start up and then decay down. Uh, I like it with the string keeping it on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this envelope right here and turn this guy off. I'm gonna turn the envelope on for the triangle wave and paste that envelope in that I just created. And let's create a low pass. Let's make it a little more simple, just a, just a low pass filter. I'm gonna scale this down to a little bit more release. A little bit more release on this. Ooh, that's a little too much on that one. Let's just do one voice. Yeah, let's play around with this one. A little. That 
that's perfect. So let's copy this envelope and paste it into voice one and three. So they're identical for right now. Let's go back and turn all of these oscillators back on. Let's hear it up the octave. That's lovely. I have low pass filter on for voice one and voice two. And let's turn it on for voice three, a low pass filter. And let's go ahead to the MAR modulation card. And I'm going to go ahead and use a sine wave. And we're going to go ahead and select LFO one three times. And the target is going to be the low frequency of each of each filter right here. So LFO one is going to control voice one filter frequency. It's going to control voice two filter frequency and it's going to control voice three filter frequency. Now let's listen to it. We're going to hear this idea of moving back and forth. do now is just slow it down so we have that change over time. And when it comes all the way down here, it's going to basically turn the sound off. Where it's too soft. So in that case, we're going to take the low and move the low up a little bit so that Basically, in effect, it's only going to swing to a certain portion over here. So that when I trigger the sound, it's not going to be silent. Maybe a little bit faster. That's cool. And now you have multiple LFOs. So let's have a different LFO for each voice. So now that I have that idea going, I'm gonna go ahead and take LFO two for voice two, LFO three for voice three. And right now, let's see what our rate is for LFO one. LFO one, the rate, we're gonna take a look at this window right up here, is 0 0.06. So let's take this guy, let's go 0 0.010, oops, 0.10, not 0 0.10. And let's take LFO three and maybe go something like that. All right. So they're all sine waves, but they're all moving at slightly different rates. Last thing that we could talk about is the reset feature. So the reset is off on all three LFOs. So that means that whenever I play, wherever the LFO is in its circular motion to create this wave shape, it's just going to keep going. And so if I attack here or attack here, wherever the LFO is, it's just going to keep on going. But if I turn the reset on, it means that whenever I start the trigger, whenever I trigger the note, it's always going to start the LFO at the same starting point. So let's listen to the difference between reset note on and reset note off. So we just heard before reset note off. Now let's turn it on for each one. that. Uh, I think with the reset note on, that means that each time you engage this particular patch, it would sound fairly identical from one entrance to the next, which gives the instruments a good shape, which I think that's good. So there we have it. Uh, lovely little pad sound in Crystal. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, keep working on Crystal. Keep creating some cool patches and uh, see you next time. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, adieu.